<clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna try and walk this, make like a video for this, walk it through. That way we can figure it out. So here we have the address, which uh, I can't zoom in too far, but I'll, I'll send it, I'll put it in the link. Um, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is install the Final Fantasy XI client, which there is a button right here that says click here. It brings you to a page like this. Obviously it, didn't, it uses cookies. They now have to disclaim that, whatever. We're going to install each of these. Well, first we're going to download them. So let's get them all downloaded or ready to download. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my downloads folder, which currently has a bunch of crap in it. And we are going to make a new folder fantasy install and when these finally download then we can um, we'll put the files into here so let's take a look at how much longer we have on those files uh, it's looking like a good a good amount of time so I will continue the recording when those get downloaded okay so once we have everything downloaded you'll see here we uh, I, personally, I put them in my own folder on my desktop <clears throat> for the sake of this part. You'll see that I already, I already tried it, and when it goes properly, um, it'll end up with a folder kind of like this, just by itself. Uh, makes it look nice. So first, we're going to hit this exe file that we downloaded from the website, and it'll pop up a little... Uh, icon like this as long as you have like a WinRAR type of um, program installed. It'll ask you where you want the folder to be extracted to. And so in this case I just put it in the same folder and said extract. Normally this can take a, a good amount of time. Uh, as you can see it, it, it's not a whole lot of time. I think it took about five or six minutes for me. And uh, yeah so while that's happening um, you can be doing something else where uh, we have the back at the Nocturnal Souls page. Um, <clears throat> there's a few other things we need to download while we're here. Uh, my favorite is using the Ashita program, which is over on the side. You have the connecting with Ashita, and you want to go to their website right here. Uh, it's the first blue link available. Let me check on the extraction. Doing well, doing well. Um, <clears throat> okay, so you're going to want to download Ashita. Uh, because the extraction doesn't take any bandwidth, this is something that you can do uh, you know, while you wait. Okay, so once that downloads, you can then open up wherever that downloaded. Ashita. Cool. And then as soon as this is done, we will continue. Okay, so the extraction is complete, and it gives us this folder right here, the Final Fantasy X1 full setup underscore US. And the first thing we're going to want to click on is the FFXI setup. And that will hopefully pull this up. Okay, obviously Windows Defender is going to want to be like, hey, what the hell? A little dialog box like this is going to pop up. You're going to want to install all three. And then over here we have the DirectX installation. Next. Next. And it shouldn't take too long. All right, and as soon as that's done, you hit finish. Pops up another... Thing for the play online viewer setup. Hit next. You accept. You can obviously read through this, but whatever. Uh, yep. Mm -hmm. You want to change. You want to pick a spot. Normally, I mean, if you have room on your C drive, just do that. For me, um, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do this and just create. Or I'll just put it in my downloads, honestly. And I'll just because I'm just going to get rid of it after this video. Um, so next, create a desktop. 
we don't even need that because we're not even going to use that as a as an actual program we're going to backdoor it a little bit so don't mind that obviously if you plan to play the actual game later through the normal servers then you would want to make that if you want a shortcut all right so now we're on to the final fantasy 11 setup see like i said it's not very it doesn't take very long agree next next yep uh same thing i'm gonna put it back into my downloads that's not the right folder hold on downloads did they already make a folder for this uh no, but we'll just put it in this install folder. That's fine. You want to keep them all together. And so while we're doing this, calm down. While we're doing this, I will make sure that this is all together. Okay, yeah. So they put it in the, for my sake, I put they put it in downloads, Square Enix. So let's put it in there. Of course, mine's not responding because why would it while well, I'm trying to record? Okay, now that's there. We hit next, next. We don't need to make a new shortcut. Once again, if you're making a real one, like, like a connecting to a real server, you're going to want to do that. All right, so as soon as that's done, we'll get a nice finish button. Very nice. Um, from there, we're going to want to go where it installed, if I remember correctly. And we're going to want to open the Play Online Viewer. Now, the next thing we also want to do, um, let's go back to the website. So we already have it all down. We're going to open up the Play Online Viewer. Whoa. And the first thing you're going to notice is it's too loud. So I recommend, I recommend putting that way down. <laughs> uh, okay, so we want to, next, update. Obviously the Play Online Viewer needs to update first so that we can get in and update the game files. Okay, so now that the version update is complete, we hit OK. We have to restart the, the Play Online Viewer. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. So now, we're, now that we're here, we're going to hit four Play On Online users. According to the website, it says to use just ACD, one, two, three, four, just some, and account ID. So. Uh, I mean, yeah, like that's the deal. Like we, we're we're just making up crap. A B C D. One two three four. Nothing too crazy. Yeah, sure. The next thing we want to do is log in, and then what we do is we do check files and the first thing we want to do for sure is we switch this oh let's take a look it doesn't show up you can download the patch okay so this is important so if that happens again or that happens to any of you on the nocturnal souls updating page uh, there is on step five thing right here and it brings you to a wiki post okay so we download the update patch it's looking like if that doesn't happen this is a very specific thing that only happens if you get to the play online viewer check files and the Final Fantasy 11 does not come up so we can now go to downloads update patch okay update patch put it in the same folder 
And once we have it, we open the file using an archiving program, extract to a new directory. So let's just extract. Um, close your archiving program, navigate to the patch, all right, select it all, and then paste it, copy it, no, yeah, copy it from the directory, and then put it into the Final Fantasy XI folder. So, go here, go here, go here, command A, command C, go here. Renix, Final Fantasy, paste. Replace the files in the destination. Okay, so as soon as that's done, we can try this again. Let's restart the viewer. Okay, so we have the viewer again. I'm actually gonna turn the sound on a little bit. I'm feeling a little nostalgic. Okay, check files. And we have the Final Fantasy XI option, and hit check files again. Now this part takes forever, so I'm going to let this happen, and then I will continue from there. Okay, so after the file check was complete, we noticed that there were 4,335 4, files, and by doing file repair, should reinstall the software and be good to go. Once we do that, we head into this section where it checks the version information and then proceeds to do exactly the same thing again. Normally this is the, a feature that would only be used if your game files got corrupted, but this is also a backdoor feature to update without actually having an account. All right, then as soon as the repair is complete, you can hit OK. And let's take a look at the website one more time. Go back here. As soon as we're done with the check, good to go, this process is validating your current files. It may take 20 to 25 minutes. You'll start checking and updating files, sometimes up two to four hours. Uh, once everything is updated, exit, play online. Exit. Okay. Last step is copying the PlayOnline viewer data files into the Final Fantasy 11 folder. Okay, data check. Navigate to this and paste the folder in there. That's what we just did. Boom, data. Next, you should have a data folder in there. Cool. So now we go to the Ashita. Um, program and we installed that earlier or we we downloaded that earlier and so now we want to install it so we are installing the Ashita program um, so next we go to connecting with Ishida on the website so we download it once you have it uh, place it into your programs folder directory. It doesn't matter. Um, it'll just extract itself, which we just watched it do. It's ready to go. So we want to configure it to a, to uh, connect to this file or this uh, server. So we go down to new configuration. So for the file, you go to here, here, Ishida. And then this is the one that we want to use. So be sure to keep your Ashita folder with the rest of it. So this is the POL folder that we want. The command line's the same. And the command line's from here, like we said. And then we go ahead and do this. We press play. And a little console one note will come up right here. Uh, the first thing you want to do is create an account. So you'd hit number two. You create an account, sample account, put in a password, password, password. Cool. Qu 
cool. Usually it crashes the first time you try to set it up. So you want to redo it, login, sample, account, password. Okay. And once again, the volume is just going to be crazy loud. You can adjust that accordingly. The resolution is really messed up because I messed it up. But as you can see, it should work from here. Just remember your username and password. Character creation works. The whole game works from here. So and obviously you can make weird resolutions. Just stretch it out full screen if you want. Um, the higher the resolution, the less blurry things are going to look. So remember that. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy your uh, hope you enjoy your time on Final Fantasy XI: Nocturnal Souls.